The second campaign for the creation of Israel was the slogan, a land without a people for a people without a land. The assertion that there were no people in Palestine pro no people like it's a you know protocol. there is yeah like like no nobody people. thinks there are zero <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> also it was it was a uh, very empty and desolate it's not a a, a wrong metaphor yeah like you yeah mean, there were there were, uh, there, there were a few um there were a few I, concentrations uh, of population i want but, to say uh, for example Jew Jerusalem was already 80% Jewish at that time. I, wa I want to say a quick fact. Many, many, many of the uh, future uh, Palestinians in that time only came to Israel in the 1920s because it was uh, prosperous about, uh, above average in the Ottoman Empire, so they came as a walk migrants. Exactly, they, and, and of course when the, in, the British in, in the, arrived, uh, then... Uh, Prosperity rose even further. There was more to do. There was uh, there were people coming from all over the region. So uh, I actually in, in Herzl remember, time, in Herzl actually, time, when when he said that quote, it was extremely desolate. Yes. A lot of uh, Arabs. Sorry, a lot of Arabs came from other countries. You know, uh, yes. the most of the last name in Israel, uh, Arab last names, are from other countries like. El Masri, El Masri, El Masri even from Bosnia, there is people who came from Bosnia to Israel. Bushnak, Bushnak. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is also uh, people who came from uh, because of Saudi, the, uh, there's T Tamimi from Saudi and Khalidi from Iraq, and there's various names. Uh, I think Eddie Cohen did uh, something about this. I might be wrong. Someone did a uh, a little bit, talked a little bit about this. I think uh, uh, Mordechai Kedar, Dr. Mordechai Kedar. Could be. Yeah. There could is be. a meme with those names. You could uh, search it later for the next video. Yeah. Anything okay. else or I'm continuing? Oh, uh, what, we, we uh, didn't look in the document, uh, that um, the research document, right? Yeah. Um, uh, there's yeah. a few uh, images with the timestamps. Oh, I wanted to say something about... Uh, the, if we if we will say that almost all the 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 Palestinians are in her, were uh, descended of a uh, work migrants to the Ottoman Empire in the 1920s, almost all of them, then she will say so what? So we became a nation in uh, Aliyot just like the Jews. No, we didn't have any common uh, nationalism in that time. They were uh, displaced by Hamulos, uh, larger fa tribe families. They didn't consider themselves. Uh, Palestinians, they either consider themselves as pure uh, uh, nomad uh, tribes, or they consider this, themselves as part of Syria, Egypt, Jordan, and so on. Uh, are you showing the graph, or should I continue? Um, just a, yeah. no, there's just, no, no. just a comment from uh, from Staub, which is uh, we, we said the similar things, but uh, it's worth saying that uh, the the Arabs did live in the area, and this is something that uh, I try to explain to a few Americans when I was talking to them about this. But it's very hard for Americans, uh, Westerners, to grasp this. But though the the, the, the Arabs that live in the area were not, uh, they didn't have a sense of nationality because they were living under an empire that uh, did all it could. The Ottoman Empire did all it could to prevent any nationalism from arising. Um, that's one thing. And also, they, the, 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 the local culture is not uh, nationalistic. It's more based uh, around uh, something that tribes, in Arab, in Arab, uh, Arabic is called, uh, it's called Hamula. And it's a yeah. bit like a clan or a yeah. tribe. Yeah, family, a few uh, hundred to family. few thousand, few hundred yeah. to few thousand uh, extended family. They are intermarry yeah. as well, uh, as long as it is it and so And so those, uh, those uh, different... Um, uh, clans actually have slightly different dialects uh, and disputes between them. They don't really have a sense of national identity in the sense that Euro Europeans understood it at the time. And this is a, an Arab uh, world, an Arab uh, wide thing. It's not just yes. an Israel uh, land. Yeah. That's why, because uh, the war in Iraq, uh, for example, was such a failure because we don't have any sense of uh, an Ir Iraqi nationality. There are uh, something uh, like uh, six, seven uh, countries in Western uh, terms and uh, perspective. How Bush didn't and, and didn't understand such a basic thing, I don't know because it's so obvious that you cannot have democracy in Iraq. Maybe they knew about this and they thought they could work around it, but obviously. <laughs>
<laughs> that didn't work out. I, I just think he was dumb and naive and thought that every person is American in the inside if you will uh, make him a bit. 